started this. I think they should give us some credit. Hell, right. e either Jill Scott or Erica Badu should let us sit room side with them, social distancing per se, because we got this started. Hey, before, we, before we go there, can I tell you a funny little segue into the whole Jill Scott, uh, please, Erica please. Badu thing with Michael Jordan, right? Oh, boy. So, so years ago, I think I told you guys, I worked as a photographer for a long time. When I was in LA, I did a lot of, I was a, you know, I, I did a lot of stuff in the music industry and I worked for a bunch of record labels and, and for the Source Magazine and some other folks. So I was, I was in that place space all the time. And I went to, um, I went to a, uh, a, a launch party for Hidden Beach Records, which was Michael Jordan's label. And he was, so they were doing the launch party for, uh, for his record label and they were introducing Jill Scott. They were bringing her out. And so it was a, it was a cool thing where it was just, you know, it was a big event and, um, and she was gonna perform and stuff. So I was there taking photos and whatnot. And, um, and so I knew Michael Jordan was there. I hadn't got a chance to photograph him yet. So anyways, I, but at some point I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. So I go, and uh, and I go to the bathroom, and I'm at a stall. And there's, you know, it's a party. There's a lot of people drinking, so the stalls are all filled up. So I walk in, I go to the bathroom, uh, and next thing I know, you know, I'm up there peeing, and this big ass tall dude walks, and I look up, and it's Michael Jordan peeing right next to me, and I'm like, shit, I can't say anything. You can't, you can't be like, yo, it's Michael Jordan when you're taking a piss next to the dude. So <laughs> hey, I, I know MF was that would have. I know him yeah. that would have that would have took their hands right off the penis, handed him a pen, and said, "Sign this, brother." Shoot, I mean, you just happen to have a little bit of gumption about yours, Larry. But oh, I know God. that would have just started peeing all over the wall, trying to get oh. the autograph. I couldn't do it, man. But I was like, "Oh snap!" So, anyways, I went, I went and, and went, washed my hands, and left. And then after I was out, I was like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something to him when he comes out." But you know, it was like. He's Michael Jordan. It's like there's a bubble of people around him at all times, basically. So it was like, it was like he went to the bathroom and had like a, you know, like a two little minute break as he was peeing, and then he was back in there, and just people were swamped all over him again. So, you know. But anyways, that was my little interesting thing as far as like Michael Jordan, Jill Scott, and you know, and it was funny because they were they were pitching Jill Scott as like this new sort of neo soul version of Erica Badu. So it was okay. Yeah. Well, well th they, they are calling these two the Queens of, of neo soul, you know, right. um, I think I can get with that. Now, yeah. before, before I met my wife, you know, I had, I like Jill Scott. I had a thing for Miss Jill Scott and a lot of people do. Some of them don't want to come out and admit it, but there's something, there's just something special about Miss Scott. Not to take it right. anything away from Erica Badu because she's special too. But there oh, was my brother, friend, my brother was friends with Erica Badu. They went to college together at Grambling. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, because this channel got the things, we got the hashtag started. Jill Scott versus Erica Badu. They will be having the verses. It was announced on Timberland's Instagram this past weekend. It will mm -hmm. be on May the 9th. T-Streams, I'm giving it to you first. Who you got? My girl, Jill Scott, because I'm very biased. Or are you taking that Erica Badu, naming her children after numbers? No, nah, man, I think I'm going to have to roll. I'm going I'm to have to roll with Jill. Yes. Now, now I, yes. I, do, I do like Erica Badu. I, I do think, too. I think over the years, she's become a little bit too eccentric for, for my taste. Yeah. And, uh, but there is, you know, there is something about uh, there is something about Jill that, that you know that you can just sort of I'm telling you sort of rock with. Yeah, so I'm I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to, okay. I'm gonna have to go against the grain on this one, right? Oh God, you I, want some of that eccentric seasoning? I'm telling you right now. See, I love me some Jill Scott. I do. Mm -hmm. But Erica mm -hmm. Badu is she runs deep. And the thing is, let's not forget, like one of her, one of her favorite, one of her songs that are one of my favorite songs is Call Tyrone. <laughs> and you know, that's a song that a lot of men hate. <laughs> I love that song. And the thing is, she came up with that song just like on a whim. It was they were doing a they were doing a sound check at one of her before one of her shows and and her uh and I think it was her guitarist or somebody started playing this, this bass guitar started playing this, this riff and she just started going with it and just freestyle the song. Her sound man recorded it and 
and gave it to her and they just made a song after it. So I'm thinking Jill Scott may have her stuff, but we never know. We might end up where Erica Badu may just actually make a new song right in the middle of her set. You, you know what I got? You know what I got to say to you about that, Larry? So, so Jill Scott made up the song "Living Life Like It Was Golden" on the drop of a dime because somebody was playing on the piano. Next, <laughs> next. Hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take anything away from Jill Scott because she, she is her stuff is on point. You know, she needs to leak some more photos because I don't know why she stopped, but you know. She started getting skinny and started feeling like, oh, this accidentally leaked out. Somebody hacked my phone. No one hacked your phone. <laughs> hey, man, look, now, we're not going to have that kind of disrespect to the great legendary Jill Scott on this YouTube channel. Now, you up there be, you up there coming kind of sideways out your mouth talking about no, Jill man, Scott. No, man, I like them. Look, I like now. seeing those photos. Bring some more. Why that, stop leaking them? Hey, man, and look. <laughs> Y'all can count on this, even though they won't give us the credit that we got the hashtag started. Y'all can count on this us. channel. Y'all can count on this channel to bring you play by play to review what happens. I guarantee you this one is going to be a whole lot better ran and done than what we yes than what oh, we yeah. seen, than what we seen from those two men. That made the men look bad. Mine is Babyface. Babyface was ready to go. Teddy Riley. Babyface stuff was on yeah. point. Yeah, Babyface was ready to go. 